so you said one of the caves was vandalized. Is that one of the caves that's open to the public? Is, so it was not. So the cave itself was not necessarily vandalized. Um, we didn't notice anything uh, altered there. The equipment, however, um, there were three different stations. So what I do for this equipment, for the detectors, is um, there's a microphone just on a normal PVC or metal pole. Um, it's got a little bit of a boom to kind of get out and be positioned in the right area. Uh, the cable goes down into this little box that holds, you know, that's recording all the sound um, that has a memory card in it. So as I was going out, I noticed um, a few of them, the, uh, the poles were down. Um, which, you know, it happens sometimes, wind, animals, they get knocked down. Um, but they were sort of taken apart um, in a way that I was, I was a little skeptical about. And then one of my, uh, my masts, one of the poles holding it, um, it was almost bent in, in a C shape. So that was, uh, that was a little, you know, and again, another hint. Wow. And then the last one, um, the cave that we pulled out from, the vandalism, um, just the memory cards were gone. So... Um, you know, they, they took it apart again. Memory cards were gone. I really didn't want to risk losing any more yeah. gear. Um, I was worried that, again, they might take or destroy the detectors, which are really expensive. So we, uh, we backed out from that spot. Um, but it is still priority. But those caves in that area, those are all, um, there's no public access for those caves. They are all, legally, they're closed. Um, mm. But... It is in an area where people can go and, you know, if they see a cave, most people, there's no sign or anything. So they're unaware that they are doing something they probably shouldn't. Right, right. Okay. 